The siege of Antwerp was an engagement between the German and the Belgian, British and French armies around the fortified city of Antwerp during World War I. German troops besieged the garrison of Belgian fortress troops, the Belgian field army and the British Royal Naval Division in the Antwerp area. After the German invasion of Belgium in August 1914, the city, which was ringed by forts known as the National Redoubt, was besieged to the south and east by German forces. The Belgian forces in Antwerp conducted three sorties in late September and early October, which interrupted German plans to send troops to France, where reinforcements were needed to counter the French armies and the British expeditionary force. A German bombardment of the Belgian fortifications with heavy and super-heavy artillery began on 28 September. The Belgian garrison had no hope of victory without relief and despite the arrival of the Royal Naval Division beginning on 3 October, the Germans penetrated the outer ring of forts. When the German advance began to compress a corridor from the west of the city along the Dutch border to the coast, through which the Belgians at Antwerp had maintained contact with the rest of unoccupied Belgium. The Belgian field army commenced a withdrawal westwards towards the coast. On 9 October, the remaining garrison surrendered. The Germans occupied the city and some British and Belgian troops escaped to the Netherlands to the north and were interned for the duration of the war. Belgian troops from Antwerp withdrew to the YSER River, close to the French border and dug in, to begin the defence of the last unoccupied part of Belgium and fought the Battle of the YSER against the German Fourth Army in October and November, 1914. The Belgian army held the area until late in 1918, when it participated in the Allied liberation of Belgium. Background Strategic context The city of Antwerp was defended by numerous forts and other defensive positions, under the command of the military governor-general Victor Duguise and was considered to be impregnable. Since the 1880s, Belgian defence planning had been based on holding barrier forts on the Meuse at Legion at the confluence of the Meuse and the Samba rivers at Namur, intended to prevent French or German armies from crossing the river with the option of a retreat to the National Redoubt at Antwerp as a last resort, until the European powers guaranteeing Belgian neutrality could intervene. The National Redoubt consisted of a dozen older forts around 5 kilometres outside to the city completed in the 1860s, with an encintra around the town abutting the shell testuary at either end, with wet ditches around the encintra and forts. The principal line of resistance comprised a ring of 21 forts, 10 to 15 kilometers outside the city, which had been built after 1882. A group of two forts and three coastal batteries defended the shelter and there were a small number of prepared inundations. Forts built at Legion Namur on the Meuse were of similar construction and intended to be barrier forts and bridgeheads. A first line of defense in the event of an invasion from the east or southeast. German invasion on 2 August 1914. The Belgian government refused the passage of German troops through Belgium to France and on the night of three quarters August the Belgian general staff ordered the 3rd Division to Liege to obstruct a German advance. The German army invaded Belgium on the morning of 4 August. Covered by the 3rd Division, the Leech Fortress Garrison, a screen of the Cavalry Division and detachments from Legion Namur, the rest of the Belgian Field Army closed up to the River Getter and by 4 August the 1st Division had assembled at Tinan, the 5th Division at Perwes, the 2nd Division at Leuven and the 6th Division at Wever, covering central and western Belgium and the communications towards Antwerp. German cavalry appeared at Visay early on 4 August and found the bridge down and Belgian troops on the west bank. The Germans found a ford, crossed the river and forced the Belgians to retire towards Liege. On 5 August the Battle of Liege began, when the Germans tried to capture the fortified city of Liege by a coup de main and then attempted a night attack which collapsed in confusion until General Erich Ludendorff rallied the infantry. 
Ludendorff attacked again around noon on 6 August and found no opposition in the city, the Belgian 3rd Division having been withdrawn to the Ghetto. The Germans began a siege of the fortress, which fell on 16 August. On 10 August German cavalry reached the Ghetto and Jaeger began to move northwards to Diest and Hasselt. On 12 August German cavalry and Jaeger attacked at the Battle of Halen and were driven off after a 10-hour battle. By 17 August, a huge number of German troops had crossed into Belgium between the Meuse, Dima and Ghetto. Despite the demolitions carried out by the Belgian army and paramilitary guard Siviket, the Belgian position on the right flank of the Ghetto was threatened by a flanking maneuver through high. On 18 August the Germans attacked again, captured Halen, entered Tinan and attacked the 1st Division frontally and on the northern flank, which the 1st Division repulsed only with great difficulty with information that five German corps and six reserve corps were in Belgium and with no support from the French army and British expeditionary force ready. The Belgian field army was ordered to withdraw towards Antwerp on the evening of 18 August. It arrived on 20 August, with little interference from German advanced parties, except for an engagement between the 1st Division and the German 9th Corps near Tinnen, in which the Belgians had 1,630 casualties. Brussels, the Belgian capital, was captured on 20 August, as the Belgian Field Army arrived at Antwerp. Namur fell on 24 August, at the same time that the Field Army made a sortie from Antwerp towards Brussels. The Belgian government of Charles de Brockville left Brussels and moved to Antwerp to avoid capture by the Germans, who detached the 3rd Reserve Corps from the 1st Army to mask the city from positions either side of the Dial Canal. A brigade of the 4th Reserve Corps was sent to occupy Brussels. The 9th Reserve Corps was ordered to move to Antwerp on the 22nd of August. Prelude German plan of attack as part of the war planning conducted by Schlieffen and then Moltke between 1898 and 1914. A plan had been made to isolate Antwerp, to counter the possibility that Belgian forces reinforced by British troops would threaten the northern flank of the German armies involved in the invasion of France. The plan anticipated operations by 11 divisions from 7 Reserve Corps on the east of the National Redoubt, where inundations were impossible. In 1914 the siege was conducted by only six divisions, one of which was needed to guard the Liege Brussels railway between Tinnen and Brussels and the ground between Brussels and Antwerp. The seller abandoned the pre-war plan and substituted an attack from south of Antwerp towards Forts Wale, St. Catalina Waver and then an exploitation northwards in the area of Forts Koningsuecht, Lyre, Kessel, for intermediate works, the River Netta and an inundation 400 to 500 yards wide. The 6th and 5th Reserve, Marine and 4th Ersatz Divisions forced Belgian outposts back 4 to 5 miles on 28 September and formed a covering line from the Netter to the Scheltet, Mechelen. Behind the covering line, German siege artillery was installed to the east and south of Mechelen, ready to commence a bombardment on Fort St. Catalina Waver and Walm as the Dortveld and Bosby redoubts. To the northeast of St. Catalina Waver were engaged by 8-inch mortars and the field defences between the forts. The Netter Bridges and Antwerp waterworks north of Walm were bombarded by other heavy guns. Belgian defensive preparations work by Belgian engineers to construct field defences around Antwerp had gone on since the beginning of the war and positions between the forts had been built. Inundations formed and the foreground cleared of obstructions. The clearances proved unwise, since they made the forts visible, trenches could only be dug one foot deep, because of the high water table and had no overhead cover. During the German advance to Mechelen, most of the Belgian army occupied the fourth sector between the third sector and the Scheldt. Only light forces held the third sector and the fourth division held the sector around Den Derminde. The first and second divisions were sent to the third sector and the fifth division took up reserve positions behind them. Siege 
First sortie, 24 to 26 August the Belgian army made a first sortie from Antwerp to help French and British troops engaged in fighting at the Samba and at the Mons Canal. The operation was intended to distract the 3 Reserve and 9th Reserve Corps observing Antwerp and to cut German communications through Leuven and Brussels. After reconnaissance on 24 August, four divisions advanced southwards from Mechelen the next day, leaving one division of infantry and the cavalry division in reserve. The sortie was halted on 26 August, after receiving news of the withdrawal of the French and British and that Joseph Joffre, commander of the French army, did not intend to attack immediately and the Belgian forces returned to Antwerp. On the night of 25-26 August, the city was bombed by a German Zeppelin airship. Ten Belgian civilians were killed but the bombing failed to undermine the morale of the garrison. By 27 August reports to Ole led Moltke to believe that the Belgian army had lost its offensive capacity and ordered the brigade of the IV Reserve Corps at Brussels to move south to rejoin the corps at Peron. On 2 September German intelligence sources in Brussels reported that c. 40,000 British troops had landed at Ostend, occupied the coast westwards to Boulogne and reinforced the Belgian army in Antwerp. The cellar attacked on 4 September, with three divisions on either side of the Scheldt towards Termende, which captured the fortress and blew the bridges to the north. Second sortie, 9-13 September After the end of the first sortie, the Belgian field army joined the fortress troops in improving the defences between the forts, while the German besiegers consolidated their positions on an east-west line, about 8 miles north of Brussels and 4-5 to five miles away from the outer forts. On 31 August, Bissella was made responsible for the security of the German forces around Antwerp from relief attempts from the west. Landsturm battalions were transferred from the General Gouverneur appointed to administer occupied Belgium. Field Marshal von der Goltz and a division of the Mariner Corps was ordered to the area. On 1 September, the Belgians received information that the Germans were preparing to advance towards the Belgian western flank. On the Scheldt at Den Derminde, the Belgian commanders had received reports that the 9th Reserve Corps and the 6th Division of the 3rd Reserve Corps were being relieved by the Marine Division and Landwehr troops. The Germans had received agent reports of an imminent sortie from Antwerp, troops concentrations in western Belgium and northern France and the arrival of more British troops at Ostend. With the concentration of more troops and Landsturm at Brussels underway, the reports caused no alarm. The Belgian Army Command considered that the German attack on 4 September was a feint and began to plan another sortie to induce the Germans to recall the troops being transferred to France and to disrupt German communications in central Belgium. German troop withdrawals were observed from 5 to 7 September. A frontal attack was considered to be impossible given the extent of the German trenches but an attack on the eastern flank was considered possible. Two divisions were to remain inside the Antwerp defences, while three divisions and cavalry were to attack towards Arschot. Important crossings over the Dima and Dial rivers were quickly taken. Arschot was captured by 10 September. The cavalry reached the city of Leuven. The German 6th Reserve Division and 9th Reserve Corps were recalled to the region, joining the 30th Division of 15th Corps from Alsace, which conducted operations against the sortie between 10 to 13 September around Brussels. The Belgian advance was stopped and the army retired to Antwerp on 13 September. Third sortie, 26-27 September at Antwerp. The German concentration of troops on the southeastern side of the line had left a gap to the north from the Dender to the Dutch frontier. The gap spanned about 13 miles at the confluence of the Dender and the Scheldt rivers at Denderminder, through which the defenders of Antwerp retained contact with western Belgium and the Allied forces operating on the coast and in northern France. 
After the siege of Malberg in France, German soup-heavy artillery was moved towards Antwerp which like Legion Namur, would be untenable unless it could be incorporated into the main Allied front line, like the fortified regions of Verdun and Belfort in France. On 25 September the French general staff requested another sortie from Antwerp and the Belgian general staff began to plan another operation. Signs of German preparations for a general attack on Antwerp led to the forces intended for the sortie being reduced. The 5th Division, elements of the 4th Division and the Cavalry Division, which held the defences on the west side of the National Redoubt of Dem der Minder and the Wasland, attacked German troops moving westward from AALST. Although they succeeded in making a small advance, a counter-attack by the 37th Landwehr Brigade, supported by heavy artillery, led to the cancelling of the assault. On 28 September, the German bombardment of the Antwerp fortresses began.